Hey guys, welcome back. For those of you who are new here, my name is Melody. And in today's video, it's just going to be a hangout with me day. Hope you guys don't mind. Um, it's been about a week since I've actually filmed a, uh, filmed a video where I'm facing the camera. And I thought I'd give you guys an update on Pixie. How is everyone today? Hope you're all doing well. We've been doing pretty good. And actually, Pixie's doing really great. Let's actually go find her. I did say we'd go find her, and we will. But this is where she's been sleeping at night. She normally sleeps in the bed with us. But um, I think we're going to wait until this weekend. And then we'll let her back in the bed with us. We're a little worried about Gidget. She gets pretty excited. And she likes to really chase Pixie. Especially in the middle of the night. <laughs> There's something about like 2 and 3 a.m. Where Gidget just goes nuts. We call it the Gidgeting hour. It's like her version of the witching hour. <laughs> She's crazy. I think I've mentioned that before. Oh, oh, I do want to say I am really liking my hair shorter. It doesn't look any different, but it does feel different. If I hope that makes some sense. I do want to tell you guys something about the tree here. So I had placed a FabFitFun blanket that I got under here. And then I saw in someone else's video how they use baskets. I thought, oh yeah, I have a basket. I could do that. And then, of course, I put it there, and I'm like, I absolutely hate it. <laughs> I like the blanket better. I Does anyone else do stuff like that? I do. <laughs> All right, I don't have a lot going on today, but I am marinating some shrimp for dinner. We'll be having this with some pasta. And I'm also making some French bread. I have it on a timer, so in 4 hours and 26 minutes, it'll be done, which is so great. And... Um, it's all just kind of setting in there. I'm going to be making the French bread and I'll be adding some salt, butter, and garlic to it. Delicious. And I do have my little mini iron out because I was working on a project. I just realized I said we were going to go find Pixie. Sorry, I got sidetracked. I was on my way to find Pixie and I saw this. So um, I worked on a project. So a few weeks ago, I was watching Alexandra, Alexandria, right? Alexandra. I can't even say it, Alexandra Rodriguez. And she was shopping with her mom and there were these adorable mugs. And one of the mugs said, Bah Humbug Exo Scrooge. And I was like, that needs to be made a t-shirt. So I did it. There it is. So. Now this is just kind of a plain black t-shirt. Can you guys see that okay? Yeah. It's just a plain black t-shirt, but I went ahead and layered it with a white t-shirt, a white long sleeve, long sleeve shirt underneath it. I cannot talk today, apparently. <laughs> and um, I think it's cute. So I just created the, well, I kind of created the design from Cricut, Cricut, what do they call it? Cricut something space and design space. And I just chose the font and then they had this design here, the blank page. And I just added that in there and I'm, I'm loving it. I think it's just adorable. And I made a, I actually made some mugs and a bag for a neighbor. But before that, I need to show you this little cutie. What are you doing? Hey. <laughs> and of course, she's got the candy cane here. <laughs> are you tearing it up? Are you a happy girl? Kitchen table is a mess. Um, yes, we've got the candy canes here. Oh, and my, my little advent calendar my 12 days of Burt Bees, the first day I got the, where is it? Oh, vitamin E, oops, vitamin E and peppermint lip balm. And this is a mess over here, actually, <laughs> because Gidget, our little catzilla, keeps knocking things over. Hi, yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. <laughs> that face. But um, yeah, we got all our. I've gotten two Mickey's so far. I've got Chip and Dale. There they are. Pluto and Donald. With oops, Donald he fell over. Well, you guys get the idea. And then some of my little. There we go. Cardboard guys. All right, on to the thing for my neighbor Lisa, my friend and neighbor. I don't know if she's going to like it. It is pretty plain, but I was, tr you know, I got the I. I got the idea and I just went for it. It's like, I saw it a few weeks ago and then I decided just yesterday I needed to make it, like right now, 
which took me hours, by the way, a lot longer than it should have, I'm sure. But, um, so I just, my point is, sorry, I do this a lot. My point that I'm trying to get across is I just use items I already had, which is why it's so bland, you know, the black and white, the black and white, and then the, the black on the canvas. So I made this bag for her. It's didn't come out perfectly and I'm super bummed about it. I struggled right here on this corner, but hopefully, hopefully she won't mind too much. And then the mugs, all right, so on the first mug, I made this, it's all black, well, mostly black, and it says Ball Humbug Exo Scrooge, and I had the black base. Well, after I made this, I realized, wait a minute, it would look better if I put it, like if it was on a piece of paper. Let's see if I can get some more. So that's when I came up with this, Bah Humbug Exo Scrooge, and then I, both mugs have, um, have it on both sides. They didn't come out perfect, as you can see, there's a little piece of cricketing vinyl or whatever they call that stuff, the transfer vinyl that, uh, stuck there. I cannot get the words out today. All right, so Siri tells me there are 13 days till Christmas. Did I start my 12 day calendar too soon? That's okay, I wanted it to end on the 24th. I've got that. Okay, sorry about the lighting in here, but this is where Pixie's been sleeping in her, in Chris's chair. Hi, baby. And actually she's been doing real good. Yeah, she's got her little space suit on. This is what my husband calls it. Yes, he says you're a space kitty. And <laughs> oh, she's purring. So she's healing up pretty good. This the incision looks good. She'll have her stitches removed next Wednesday. And I don't mind saying the first few days were kind of scary. Like it actually had me thinking, what did I do to my girl? <laughs> because the anesthesia was still in her system and it was making her very shaky and afraid of everything. But after the first 24, maybe 36 hours of that, it got a lot better and she just kept getting better. Like this morning, gosh, her surgery was last Wednesday. It's Tuesday, so it's been six days now. This morning, she was going through the house meowing. I call it a, a morale, where she goes, morale, morale. And that's her way of calling her sister, Gidget. So they did get some play time this morning and we are still waiting on the, I just noticed I got my little birdie hairs. Oh, I better spray those down. Um, <laughs> we will get the results on the biopsy um, in about a week, they said, from the surgery. So any day now we could be hearing back on the, the results of that. The doctor says that she got everything that she could find. She removed the whole mammary gland, which is why the incision is so big. And um, yeah, but there's no guarantee. I guess I'm just repeating what she said. There's really no guarantee that all the cancer cells are removed. Yeah, so there's no real guarantee. Oh, by the way, those totes, yeah, those are my ornaments. I know, we only have 12 days, 13 days. So it's almost at the point where I think I'm just not going to put them up, but that's so hard for me because these ornaments are really special to us. So every year, I've, I've mentioned this before, but I'll mention it quickly again. Every year, as we're putting up the ornaments, in one of the ornaments, it's like a mailbox or we have one that's a bulb, we have a note and we write each other a note as we're taking down the ornaments. So this year, as I'm putting away the ornaments, Wait, this year as I'm putting up the ornaments on the tree, there should be a note from my husband to me and then I will read it now. So that note probably was written December, no, January 5th or 6th or something like that. And then I do the same for him. And then I collect all of them. And then I collect all the notes. I just recently started putting them in Ziploc bags and then I just, we just collect the little notes, like nothing fancy. I keep them folded because they're fun to open up. And then here's his bag. His has more because I'm, I'm actually better at writing him stuff than he is me, but that's okay. 
<laughs> but um, it's just kind of like a fun little tradition that we do. And it's a nice little memory of things. Of, you know, just a nice little memory. As you can see here, we've got two totes of ornaments that still need to go on the tree. And we have more in the garage. I think this year, this is all we're going to put on. But all of these really mean a lot to us. Just a lot of really fond memories. What's this? Hmm, I do not know what that is. We'll set that there and worry about that later. But uh, yeah. I just realized the other day I had bought candy canes from Dollar Tree and they have timers on them and that's that's why these batteries are on the kitchen table. I've been meaning to get to them but I'm like there's only 13 days left. Do I want to do it? Yeah. I don't know. Another item I haven't gotten to or another thing on my list I haven't gotten to is this. It's the uh, the Oreo mini house kit. I've been wanting to put this together but I just haven't made time and my friend Candy can't come over to do this with me because she's actually going out of town on Thursday. So I think this one's going to be, I'm going to have to do this one on my own. Unless I can talk my husband into it. We'll see. Now that I've got you guys all caught up on all that, I think that it's time for me to get out of the house and take you guys with me. I want to go to Tesso Life. There's a bath, it's that bath powder that, make, that makes your bathtub smell like, a, it smells like cedar, I think, or it smells like some sort of forest. And um, I'm, I'm running out of that. And then the 85 degree bakery is right next door. I think I'm gonna grab myself a treat there. And I think I'm gonna bring you guys along with me as we do a little bit of shopping. Hey guys, I'm in Aldi and look what I found. Children's character watches for $6. Look, they've got Spider-Man, Mario. We've got Barbie. Minecraft. We've got Encanto. And they've also got a mini version, a uh, mini mouse version. They have the kids smartwatch with earbuds, $20. Look at this, isn't that cute? For $10, you can get a hooded throw, oops. We've got Hello Kitty, Spider-Man. And it looks like Stitch back here. Oh my goodness. Got the travel pillow for kids, also $7. Or got Spider Man or Stitch. And they've also got the blankets for $10. They've got the backpack and book set. Got Hello Kitty. Is that Wish? Yeah, Wish. Monster Jam. And I think I see a Spider-Man back there. Yeah. They have this really cute punch needle set for $5. That would make a great gift for somebody. <laughs> Look at these. It's a smartphone holder. These are $8. Batman, Spider-Man, Harry Potter, and you've got Groot. Who's this? Oh, Batman. $15, you can get this hand mixer. They have it in black or white and gold. And it is wireless, that's nice. Boston Cocktail Shaker for seven. They've marked that down from 10. Oh, here's an, look, here's a five speed hand mixer for eight. I bet this one has a cord though. Probably does, yes, it does have a cord, but still, $8. They've even got makeup. Mascara here by Lacura, $4. We've got a concealer here for six. And they've even got eyeshadow palettes for six. For $15, you can get a men's grooming kit or you can grab a ladies grooming kit. That's not bad. 
they have a vibrating ball. Oh, it's a massage ball. I was wondering. I was like, why, why does it need to vibrate? Okay, that makes sense. I don't see a price on that though. Let's see. For ten dollars, you can get this hat and glove set. Oh, it's even got a scarf. Hat, gloves, and scarf. Looks like they're ready for New Year's. They've got the New Year's Eve party pack for 10 people. Here's what you get inside. And this is $10. For $2.19, you can get a pack of paper plates or napkins. There's a wine bottle and glass caddy for $13. You can also get the electric wine set for 15. And they've got a variety of glassware here for 10. Oh, this is neat. You can do like your own beer tasting flight. This is 10. And it's also got like a little chalkboard you can write on it. You can get this version or you can do the wine tasting flight. Chalkboard cheese markers for four. There are six in there. And a cheese slicer. Oh, that's not bad. Four bucks. They've also got a foldable corkscrew. Looks like they've even got a cheese spreader and a wine stopper. Along with some decanters for ten. They've got these reindeer ice cream bars. These are cute. You get four. They've also got a tree version. Oh, and a snowman. Let's see, how much are these? Oh, they are $3.49. Coconut cream bites along with banana cream. Those are, hmm, I'm not sure how much those are. Looks like they've marked down their cheese balls from $1.99 to $1.29. And of course, I've got to grab one. Hey guys, I'm back from my running around. That galloping you hear is Gizzit. She's very happy that I'm home. It's adorable. Oh, okay. Well, now they're fighting. Come on, guys. All right. Sorry about that, guys. I had to stop. I had to separate the two of them. <laughs> they were getting a little out of hand. I went to Aldi and I also went to my favorite store. Well, one of my favorite stores. I like to shop. What can I say? Um, Tesso Life. And I thought I'd show you what I picked up. And I did stop at 85 Degrees Bakery. I did pick up the matcha latte. I have to say, it's actually grown on me. I really like this a lot. Now, when I got to Tesso Life, this is the uh, this is actually the product I was looking for. It's the same same product, but this just has a different smell. It's hard for me to describe the smell. This feels more like a more earthy, woodsy scent. But they were out of that, so I did grab this one instead. And this one smells pretty good, also. Not quite as earthy. This one smells maybe a little more, oh gosh, I'm terrible at this. Maybe a little more floral. But I thought I'd go ahead and grab it anyways. And no, I didn't open it until I got home. And I'm actually happy with it, although this is my favorite. I, I will warn you guys, there is like a tint to the powder and it can stain your tub. You can wash it out, but um, I just thought I'd let you guys know it. I have to rinse my tub right away after using these. At Aldi, I did pick up one of these cheese balls. I got some more of these rosemary crackers. I did get some more of these olives. I actually love these and I haven't finished the first jar I bought, but I thought I'd grab another one just in case. Gotta have it on hand. And I did pick up some wavy potato chips. And that's it. So for the rest of the afternoon, I am gonna relax and just chill. I'm gonna sit on my sofa. I was gonna try and get some editing done, but I just don't want to, so I'm not going to. And that's the beauty of not being paid on YouTube is I don't feel the pressure 
I know it sounds ridiculous, but I don't feel pressure to, you know, just keep churning stuff out. I enjoy it and I like it, but when I want to take a break, I can take a break. I started rambling, so you're going to see a, a cut or an edit in there. So I'm going to sit down, relax, and I think I'm going to splurge on myself and play my, um, my video game. Yes, I'm probably too old for video games, but it's a good, fun way for me to just zone out. I just realized something. I, I want to share with you guys the recipe for the shrimp kebab, well, shrimp that I'm making tonight for dinner. We got these last year, and I have to tell you, I haven't made a lot from these books other than this recipe here. This is from the Villains recipe book. And this pasta recipe, uh, did I say recipe? Recipe. Oh my goodness, let's see here. It's somewhere in here. Here we go. And for some reason, I just, we really like the combo of these two. Now, in the pasta I'm making tonight, I'm going to go ahead and add, yeah, heavy cream instead of just make, I'm going to basically make it this way minus the cheese, and I'm using heavy cream instead. We can use some cheese, but we'll sprinkle, sprinkle it on top. These books have a lot of other recipes. I just don't know why I haven't, I don't know why I haven't really done more with them but these two recipes really spoke to me let's see i mean it's really just very simple recipes most most of them but um kale chips that's something i don't really need a recipe for but it's in there but we really do like these books oh look at this isn't that adorable Hey, hey guys, it's actually been a few hours, but now I'm going to go ahead and finish up dinner. I've got the French bread done. I'm gonna go ahead and melt this butter in the microwave. And the nice thing about these bowls here, or these measuring bowls, is that um, they are dishwasher and microwave safe. I think I bought these last year at the um, Magnolia Silos in Waco. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and cook the shrimp in the oven. And as you can see here, I am currently watching the, the movie A Christmas Story. Really like this one. I like the fact that it's based in the past. I don't know, sounds silly, but that's what I like. <laughs> 